You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he said nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. In his practice, on the day of the procedure, he says you can go in, walk in the day of the procedure with no teeth, walk out with permanent teeth, full arch of teeth that don't come in and don't come out with dental implants. With us, we have uh, the go-to uh, implant periodontist in Ohio, we have Dr. Jason Stoner. Dr. Stoner, welcome Thank to the program. You. Thank you, Randy. All right, now we, I think you were on the show about 10 years ago. Yes, so absolutely. welcome back. What's changed Thank since you. then in the world of implants? So much has changed. It's, it's really, you'll recall from my last show with you that we were excited about just putting implants in and having a denture that snaps in and out. But now the technology is there to to shorten that from a four or five month process to a one day process, a four hour process. So it really can be done you, in one day. Yeah, and you walk in and have your have your assessment, the teeth are placed uh, and you don't wait at all and you don't take them in and out of your mouth. So we're, we've gone and evolved from something where we could place the implants and put in a denture that would snap in, it would be a four month process before that happened, uh, to now where you come in with just teeth, basically leaving with just teeth, and it's fixed and you don't, uh, you Same get day. done in four hours. The other part of what's changed in the last 10 years is we've helped hundreds of people and we've taken it from something that they need to something that they want. And that's just the very most rewarding thing through this whole process. So at the top of the show, when I say that you say nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture, you believe that? Like nobody should have dentures these days? There's no reason to have dentures. Dentures are a replacement for no teeth. They're not a replacement for teeth. And so we can give them the closest thing to teeth without having teeth now um, in four hours. And that's a want thing. Not okay. a, that's not a um, need thing. You get the want and the need from it. And the freedom that comes from that is what our patients look for when okay. they come to us. Okay, good. So who's the typical patient that comes in uh, for dental implants? The typical patient that comes in is someone who's either don't, they don't have teeth and they haven't had, they've recently had the teeth removed and they just can't get accustomed to the dentures, which is usually the case. Okay. Very few people, 50% uh, of people who go into dentures and they've had teeth most of their lives stop wearing them in two months. The second patient that uh, comes to see us is someone who spent their whole life in the dental chair. And they've had to go right? through root canals. They've got to go through bridges. They've had to go through extractions. They've had to go through partial dentures. And they've spent so much of their life in the dental chair that now they're very frustrated because they haven't had the opportunity to even be able to enjoy their teeth. And this process gives them their life back. Now we talked about in the green room, your, your grandfather, I guess, was wearing dentures before you were yes. doing this. Correct, correct. My grandfather had spent uh, his whole life in dentures, like many people from that era. So he never really knew what it was like to enjoy teeth and have teeth and a solid bite and, and confidence with a smile. So the first thing he always did when we were growing up was say, let me see your teeth to make sure we were taking care of them. Okay. But he wa I walked in one time and he's in the shop and I walk in and he's adjusting his denture with a Dremel. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, well, my denture's rubbing and it's hurting, so I'm just taking some off here. I said, we're gonna take care of this the right way. I called my office, I said, I want my grandfather in as soon as we can, let's get him in, get him the experience of having teeth again. And so we were able to, we were able to, to get an appointment for him. Unfortunately, it passed before we got the opportunity to show him what that could be. But people are really so, miserable with dentures. Like he, he, he was not, couldn't eat. When you've had dentures your whole lives, your whole life, you don't know exactly what you're missing out on. But the people that have had teeth most of their life and lose them, they're the people that really know what dentures do to people. Um, you know, when you look at, you know from the movies, when you see a bad guy, what's the first thing you, you notice? They got the bad teeth. Right, they have either bad teeth or no teeth. They have scars, they don't look good, they're ugly. And so well, they paint a terrible picture for these people. And 
Um, so what we want to do is be able to reverse that and not let ha make them have that kind of life. Because people with bad teeth, and we discussed yes. this on the phone, yes. you say they're discriminated against. People think they're poor. That's people right. think they're not clean. Absolutely. You say that's just Less not true. intellectual. Um, it is not, it's definitely not true. The reason people lose their teeth uh, is there are many. And so it doesn't have to necessarily be about what they do to, to, to lose teeth or what they don't do. Um, some people are just destined to lose their teeth, either to gum disease or cavities. And we change those people's lives and give them confidence again. Okay, good. So, now you, brought, you brought a lot of photos this time. Yes, yes. Uh, so what'd you bring? Okay. So I want to introduce you to, um, to a great patient friend of mine. So what you see in this picture with Alice is that she has the classic symptoms of the most prevalent disease in the United States, that being periodontal disease. She has bleeding gums, her teeth are loose, her, her gum is missing between the teeth, making unsightly black triangles. Even worse, her body is starting to force her teeth out of her gum and bone. That's why the tooth is see. long right Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Okay. That's why it's long in the tooth. And we also see um, swollen gums. So these things she was suffering from, from which added to um, a, a big reason why she wanted to get this done, which was the aesthetics. And this is one of my most rewarding cases because what, what happened was she was going to lose her teeth. She had lost most of the bone. I mentioned all the issues she was having with her teeth, and we transformed her life. So into she would have had a denture. She was headed for a denture. There was nothing that could be done. A periodontist, their first job is to save teeth. Right. If we can't save them, then we have to go to the next step, and that's where we were with Alice. With her, we were able to give her in two hours a full mouth of teeth that did, that did not come out and did not cover the palate. So she had the opportunity to chew and taste and talk without any They concerns. look real. They look beautiful. And um, the, the, the result for her is life-changing. She has the opportunity to eat whatever she wants to. She can eat carrots. She can eat apples. Like she bite can with eat her front salad. teeth? I mean, yes, she could, absolutely. Whatever. Yeah, whatever she wants. How soon after and the procedure? The like, okay, so they get their permanent teeth. How soon can they eat? They can eat right away. Like that night? That night. They're eating Do things. they? Or did they ever call and say, doctor, are no, you sure? They, some of them are a little unsure. You're right. Uh, they, they question the ability because these are foods that they couldn't eat four hours ago. And now we're telling them, <laughs> Good. you can eat. You can eat these things. And it's, it takes a little while to get to being able to eat anything because like anything, we need some healing time. But but. The opportunity to, to the opportunity to enjoy foods that they've missed for a very long time is there immediately that night. And, and the people in your office, because you're a specialist, so yes. you guys offer sedation, dentistry, we, so they don't really feel anything, right? No, uh, we we have all levels of sedation, from complete anesthesia to conscious sedation, and which gives a, a great experience for the patient. Like a like a pill, they can take a pill. They can take an oral sedative and and relax during the procedure, and they do very very well with it because we take the stress away. Of there's so many things going on in this in this patient's mind when they sit down to actually get this procedure done. Is it going to hurt? Is it going to how long before I can eat? How much swelling am I going to have? What's it, what am I going to look like? Am I going to, going to be black and blue? These these sedative um, options that we give take away the anxiety of this and make this even more enjoyable when the patient wakes up. Now, because they wake up and it's done. Now, at the top of the show, we said no more dentures. Are there even a lot of people where you are that there, have dentures, like in Ohio, where you are? Only 10% of people or less um, that can have dental implants get implants. And so we can fill Ohio State Stadium, which holds 109,000 people, two or three times with the number of people that don't have teeth or don't have dent or don't. So, so, so it's, a, it's big. There's a lot of people wearing dentures. It's absolutely the case. So why, we we haven't what, scratched the surface on who we can help, then what's what your, lives we can change. What's your take? Then if there's so many people wearing an upper or lower denture, then why aren't they all doing it? Why aren't they all coming in and getting... Permanent teeth, as you say, right. with implants. What's your take? Well, there are a couple reasons. One is that uh, once they get dentures, they don't think they have to go to the den dentist anymore. Um, they don't have teeth, so why go to the dentist? But in what's happening is... So the they don't bone, know their options. 
That's correct. That's correct. They don't know their options. They, the, the, there's not a dentist there that, to help direct them to what options they have. Their dentist is the pharmacy where they're getting fix it in and putting it in. And as the denture, as the bone goes away because there's nothing in there anymore, like an implant or a tooth, uh, they're using more and more fixed it in. Is that right? Yes, okay. and it becomes less and less comfortable. Another reason they don't come in is because the frustration they have of going to the dentist most of their lives and needing new crowns, new fillings, bridges, taking teeth out, um, root canal therapy, all of these things they've lived their, most of their life in the dental chair from. That's expensive too. It's right? a very expensive. The, the, they've spent all this money and in the end, they're losing their teeth. And so that can be really frustrating. So the last have, thing they want to do is go to you, right? That's correct, absolutely. Do you still hear that by the way? Uh, like no offense doctor, time. but. Absolutely. Really? You know, it's, it's something where sometimes conversations start off with saying, I don't like the dentist. And that's because they don't have, they haven't been shown what we can do for them to make their lives so much better. But when we do, when we're given that opportunity, then they love the dentist. We don't hear them saying that anymore. Another thing is that they think they're too old. And uh, our patients range from in their 20s to in their 90s. A 90-year-old could do this? Oh, absolutely. You've had 90-year-olds? We've had, we routinely have 90-year-olds That have you give time. them a full set of teeth? That's right. Why would a 90-year-old want to go through this? A 90-year-old would go through this because they're, when you're in your 90s, 80s and 90s, your, your life centers around your next meal. And so True. the ability to, to be able to eat what you want to, get the nutrition that you need, makes this a very um, significant factor in choosing to do the treatment. So if you're 90, they're not more likely to fall out or anything like that? Not at all. Statistically? There's no difference in age whether someone's 90 or someone's 30 and whether or not they will fall out. The only criteria are, um, does the patient have enough bone? And a lot of patients that come to see us, uh, they're told they don't have, en have enough bone to but, have but, but isn't it true if you've been wearing like a denture for 20 years or 10 years that you don't have enough bone to do this? No, that's not true. Uh, in, in the vast majority of cases, there's plenty of bone to be able to do the procedures. And that's what's great about this technique because we can avoid the sinuses and having to build bone and go through expensive and time consuming and uncomfortable treatment by doing this and still give the teeth the same day. So it's, it, it depends on the, the level of experience of the person doing the work. Um, we've helped hundreds of people get this done without any bone grafting that were told that they needed that. Now we should mention though that insurance for the most part, even with the best insurance, doesn't cover the whole process. Medicaid doesn't cover this Yes, but, as well. But this is not a, a type of treatment that people make a decision on dental insurance. This is, a, this is a, a life choice and it changes your life. And that's why people sometimes after a consult take two or three months before they're ready to do the treatment. We offer great financing options. Do people for the finance patient. this? Oh, absolutely. We don't expect patients to come in and just pull out their checkbook every time for this. We have great financing, op financing options that give them the ability to pay this off over 84 months if they want to. And it gives them the opportunity to get this done without having a big uh, dent in their paycheck every month. You know, so, I always feel, you know, we've talked, I always feel like you're exaggerating a little bit when you say that this is so life-changing and they say, I should have done this years ago, but they, they, they say this. I, I, we have patients that have had this done one, one, of my, one of my patients came in for a consult. The next day she booked an, a, a flight down to Florida, went down to Florida, got the money from her relatives and flew back the same day and we were doing the treatment two weeks later. Th this is something that, that, is, that changes their whole outlook. Um, that patient was looking to get the most out of the, the second half of her life. She wanted to spend every minute enjoying her life. And that's the case with a lot of patients who choose this. And so she was able, she wanted to jet ski without her dentures clacking. And she wanted to be able to eat the things she wants to eat. And we, when she came in, she told us it was about the jet skiing. And we, <laughs> what, we, what we found out was really it was just about her quality of life. And, and she, didn't, she wasn't where she wanted to be, and she didn't look the way she wanted to look. 
and we changed all that in four hours on top and bottom, giving her so no more dentures. Teeth. No more dentures. Let's go to more photos. You have more photos. We have time yes. for a few more. One of my favorite stories is Don, the story of Don. He's a, he's a man who loves his Harley, and Harleys stand for freedom. You want the freedom to be able to do whatever you want to. He was, he's 55. He's able to, to ride the road. He, he's not married, but he's missing something. He can't chew. He can't get his protein. He can't eat They steaks. tell you this? Yeah. He, he, would go, he would ride with his friends every weekend. They'd stop at a bar. His friends would get steak and all of that, and he's getting, getting oatmeal or eggs. And that's because he couldn't eat what he wanted to. The only protein he was getting was probably from the bugs that he was eating riding <laughs> on his Harley. Okay. And so um, he, now in one day, in four hours, he's back. He's the man he's always known he's been. He look at him. He's a, he's, a, he's a tough guy. He's a big guy, and he doesn't want anyone thinking he, he's anything but, but, uh, but a, a man's man. And so, so we were able to give that back to him in four so, hours. So, so now the, he's, uh, you know, when he's riding his Harley with his buddies, he could eat whatever. Eat whatever he wants to. Do they tell Snow you eating stories? Do you hear eating stories? Yeah, absolutely. So, so now he's going and he's eating steaks. He's going on dates again and he feels great about his smile. And so, um, and we've, we've gotten the opportunity. I thought maybe he'd, sh he'd shave the mustache because I think he grew it to hide his upper teeth. Now, now he thing. doesn't look like a natural smile right there. You say that they have to it, learn to smile again. They do. Is that true? Absolutely. When, when you've, when you've worn down your teeth so much, you have to learn how to actually, um, smile and, and show all of your teeth again. Okay. It takes time. So another case is, well, this is Dottie. This is the case with the jet skiing. Uh, L I, look I, at Dottie's before, how her lips are collapsed and she looks angry and she looks unhappy. And we were able to, to change that in one day and give her the opportunity to be is so happy with what she's been able to do and give her the freedom to live the life she wants to live. This is the woman that flew down to Florida to be able to get the money to be able to come back and do this. And she, what she did was look at the smile. Before she looks old, she looks unhappy. That's not her personality. Her personality is what you see now. She's smiling, she's young looking, she's enjoying life. And I can't get her to stop smiling. Before she was hiding her smile. And, and it makes you look angry. So, so a lot of the general dentists in your town send you these people that don't want dentures. That's right. We're a, peri we're, um, we're a peri periodontal practice, and periodontal practices look to save teeth. And so if we can save the teeth, we do that with very non-invasive, advanced contemporary treatment. But if we can't save the teeth, then we give them the opportunity to be able to have this procedure done. And so who's better to be able to determine whether or not teeth can be saved in a periodontist. And we should mention this, okay? And people need to know, I'm not siding with you, I'm just asking the questions, yes. but you're a specialist. Um, and in the green room, you said, Randy, I, you know, I want them to know, it doesn't cost more, I'm paraphrasing you slightly, yes. to go to a specialist, or a guy that's done hundreds and hundreds of these procedures. That's um, correct. In our so you office, feel that way, like the periodontist is equipped to be the one to do it. Absolutely, because if we can save the teeth, and many times we can, we can do that with LANAP therapy or laser therapy. Under one roof, we're able to give them all of the things they need, from a CT scan to make it safe, to a um, sedation, to restoration. Uh, and we work with their dentist as a team to be able to make that happen in four hours. Very quickly, okay. So next picture, this is uh, Nancy. And Nancy, you can see in this picture, look how frightened she looks looking at her eyes and looking oh, yeah. at her droopy face. She doesn't even know if she wants to be here in our office. And that's the case sometimes with patients coming in who are scared and don't know what to do. But her face has drooped, she's not as happy, but we knew she wasn't getting a denture. Her husband that she was going to marry was her sweetheart from back uh, in high school and nice. they reconnected after their spouses passed away and decided to get married and she wanted to look great for his 20 marine friends oh, that were nice. going to attend the wedding and so we changed it from someone who's scared and old looking to someone beautiful and radiant wow. in four hours so so those are all they, they don't come in and out they don't come in and out they're fixed they're ready to go no one would even know it and she's she's 
more than happy. And we were able to do that in a very short time period because when she came to see us, she was getting married in just a few few months. Oh, nice. We were able to give that to her. So the next picture is another f great story of mine, and uh, this is Phyllis. And Phyllis came in. She was a determined woman. They own. A, after talking to her for some time, I said, Phyllis, why do you really want to do this? And she said, you know what? I've given my whole life to my kids and my husband and everyone but me, and I can't eat a steak. And the reason that's important to me is we have a livestock farm, and I see everyone else eating steak and things, and I'm not able to do it, and I'm doing this. And her husband <laughs> was there saying, I think you do okay with dentures. And she cut him off and said, <laughs> we're doing this. I'm live, doing this for myself. Husband says, you should get dentures. That's and right. she says, no way. She said, no, good. I'm doing this. And she laid I'm down seeing the Dr. Law, Stoner. And he said, okay, let's, uh, let's do that. <laughs> so it was a great experience for her. I mean, the confidence that came out of her from when she started that appointment to at the end of the appointment where she had made her decision in that short period of time was fabulous. And she, she left there so energized. We're able to work around her trips to Florida and everything very, very well. And we gave her teeth right away, and she was very happy. So, And you can see by the results of the, the smile. <laughs> she looks happy. That, those don't look like dentures. They're not dentures. They're, they're, they're fixed teeth. And it looks like someone her age would, uh, the way those teeth would look. And in my opinion, she looks 30 years younger than what she did coming in. Yeah. And yeah. she feels 30 years younger. And she's, um, she's a whippersnapper, which makes it even more important. She got her, her mojo back from it. Okay, good, so, good. So let's, let's look at Jack. Jack has uh, a picture, her, his, his mouth, it's the same thing. You don't even see his teeth. He's ground them, ground them down so much. So there's teeth under there. Yeah, when you're older, you just start s seeing your bottom teeth. And that's because he's worn those top teeth down so much. And he was unhappy with his smile. He wanted to make a change. Knowing Jack, uh, there's no way I was, he was going to walk around with a denture in his mouth. He, he's not a, he's a lion. He's not a kitten. <laughs> and so when we brought Jack back and, and talked to him about what we can do, look at the results. Look at the final wow. results. I mean, his, that's the face of a lion right there. That's an alpha wolf, and that and that fits his personality, and and it plays a role in everything that he does now, and it projects his true personality. Science shows that with with beautiful teeth, you're going to be more handsome. He's more handsome. Look at him. He I agree exudes with that. more confidence. It's true. He's very happy with and confident in what he does in, in, in his relations with other people now, as opposed to what he was before. He was even hiding his teeth because he was afraid of what people, how would, they would judge him. The smile But it looks the, like veneers or something. So there's a cosmetic aspect to this. There's a great cosmetic. The, the, it's very complicated. We look at the size of the teeth, how much teeth you show, how much tooth you show when you smile. Does it follow your lip and make it very customized specifically to you? Even painting the teeth and coating the teeth so that they're the right shape Shape, like the gums, the gums you. look natural as the well. The gums look natural. There are different colors of gums so that we can make it look very natural and nice. So it's very customized to your treatment. Here's another patient uh, who's who's a typical patient who's been going without teeth for a long period of time and the effects of that with a drooping face and, and not showing any teeth when she smiles to a whole new smile again. And that's what we're able to do and that's why so many people come to us to do that. And I have to ask you this question because I've had people on the program, Dennis, that they do a lot of the snap in, snap right. out denture. And I guess you do some of those, but you prefer permanent fixed teeth. I do. Give me your thoughts on this. Well, uh, our ex my experience um, over the last 10 years is the snap in snap out is just a stepping stone to the fixed because the the snap in snap out is still a denture there's a lot of plastic in their mouth that covers the palate you still can't taste and eat like you would you it's painful because you you trap food underneath it and it pinches against the gums. The fixed is what gives you, it avoids all of those things and gives you much more function at the same time and much more confidence. Uh, so there's no, there's no maintenance compared to the removable too because you have to do a lot of maintenance with changing different housings and things. Oh, the snap and snap out have right, a lot of maintenance. Because they get loose. Okay. They get okay. loose and you have to put in new attachments. And so 
a lot of patients a year or two later will use that to go to the fix. It's a more expensive way to do it when you can go straight to the fix from the start. Um, the other problem is that with the removable and the snap in, snap out, we have to oftentimes involve the sinuses and grafting. So, okay. we, so that it adds a lot of expense. I have one more to show you. This is Patty. She came from Utah to see us. This is her smile. She's, That's her smile. Yes. And she's, right. she's one of our patients that have gone through, through bridges and root canals and taking teeth out. And now she was headed for dentures. We couldn't save the teeth that were left. And her dentist had attended one of my lectures on the, this new procedure that we can provide. And he sent her over so that we could, uh, we could hopefully use that procedure for her. Uh, she's young, she's beautiful, she's vibrant. She wants to can maintain that life. It doesn't show that in the before picture, but looking at the after picture and wow. what we've done to show and what we've, we've done for her confidence. It, and again, she travels from Utah, so we're on a very tight time schedule, takes some coordination, but we're able to do this. She left our office looking like that picture instead so of- So permanent teeth, full set, upper and lower that don't come out? Just upper. This was okay. just an upper case. And in two hours, she had a full set completely fixed. We're out of time. Good stuff. But final message to a person watching this. Maybe they're already wearing a denture or they're headed to a denture, but for whatever reason, they're still afraid or skeptical or whatever. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? I say, come in and see us. We, we, so many, most people who come in are skeptical about what we can do for them or, or how it would be done. And we change that thinking through giving them some, a customized treatment plan. They're in the driver's seat. We'll, okay. we'll tell you what we can do for you without any pressure on, on having to make a decision. We just tell you what we can do and you tell us how we're gonna do it. Okay, good, I wanna thank you for coming to the show. Great stuff, and, uh, and thanks thank for coming you. back. Thank you very much, Randy. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.